Happy Thanksgiving, man. I had to come on this thing and talk to the people, the real true supporters. Bumping that Mo3 real quick. I'm finna get off this thing for a minute. Happy Thanksgiving, man, to everybody, man. It's been like a a crazy year, so I hope that this pandemic ain't stopping families from getting to each other. You know, they always try to divide us, you feel what I'm saying? They try to divide us, they try to keep us separated, which is definitely a smart thing, but when you know how your family rocking, you know what I'm saying? Don't let nobody take you away from your family, man. It's the first year, man, you know what I'm saying, in a long time, in like 20-something years, that we ain't spending Thanksgiving, you know, with my pops, you know what I'm saying? So, man, it's a lot of, it's a lot of people that lost their lives this year, man. R.I.P. to everybody that lost their lives this year, man, you feel me? I feel your pain, you feel what I'm talking about? But yeah, this year, man, been so rough, and I'm really ready for it to get be over. <laughs> you let me tell it. I'm just ready for it to be over, man, because this year, it almost felt like a scary movie, to be honest with you. They already showed us what was going to happen in these movies. And I'm just thinking, man, it's just Hollywood, you know what I'm saying? I know I know about Hollywood, I know how they project shit, but I've, I've literally been living a movie this year. But it ain't the time to reflect on that. It's always about giving thanks. You feel me? And being around your loved ones. You know what I'm talking about? That's the most important thing right now. Is being around your loved ones, loving them, cherishing them, celebrating them. You feel me? Keep all of that jealousy aside and just celebrate the ones that you love the most and be around family. You know? Family should be the ones who big you up, not tear you down. You feel what I'm saying? You know? So kind of surround yourself around family man you know what i'm saying you know we still got to go back to our regular lives you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day let's be thankful that we have loved ones people that truly care about us you know it's been a rough year man we done lost a lot of people so all i'm doing out here right now is just reflecting on life you feel me beautiful day in my hometown too it ain't cold which, it, the way I'm dressed, you would think it's about 40 damn degrees out there, motherfucker. But I just want to be grown up today. Can I be a grown man today? Can I have my grown man sweat on? You know what I'm saying? It ain't all about hip-hop dressing hip-hop. You know what I'm talking about? I just want to be grown today. But I know that typical gonna drop later. But, man, just want to tell everybody, man, my friends, my family, my supporters, my fans, happy Thanksgiving, man. And this is definitely a time to reflect. We in the holiday season. Leave all that negativity aside. Leave all that shit out the door. You feel me? And I'm 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 starting off at the end of this year into next year with nothing but positivity. If you want that negative stuff, I ain't even want to rock with you. Don't even be around me with that negative stuff. We already got a lot of stuff going on right now in our lives, on our day-to-day -day lives. So I don't want to add nothing to it. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't coming into my world to enhance my my spirituality, my mind, teach me something, I don't need to be around you. Straight up. If you ain't out here trying to support a black owned business, a black man trying to make it happen, and not out here trying to sell drills, I don't want to be around you. If you ain't out here trying to goddamn motivate me to be great, be my better self, and that goes for you too. You should want people to want you to be great. This is a time that really taught a lot of people about themselves and people around you. But it's been bad, boy. It's been bad. And me being an entertainer, Money ain't coming in like it used to. So you got to be able to adapt. That's one thing about a hustler. You got to be able to adapt, man. Everybody had to adapt this year. White, black, Mexican, goddamn, all nationality had to adapt. This just not only affected black people this year. This affected the whole world. So now the whole world get to reflect back on, like, wow. What we going through right now is what black people been going through for centuries. But not everybody, everybody get to feel this shit, man. Everybody get to feel it. But right now, today is the day to be around family, man. And if you never told your mama or if you still got your dad, let them know you love them. Maybe a lot of people keep their emotions inside. But sometimes you can let people know, hey, it's okay to let them know I love you. Because once they gone, you can't tell them. You can go to their gravesite and tell them you love them, but they want to hear it in real life. In real life. So I just wanted to get on this thing, man, and chat with y'all, talk with y'all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can talk back, you know what I'm talking about? Just want to let everybody know, man, I fuck with y'all. I love y'all, man. I love the support y'all always give me. 
you know what I'm saying, 16, 17 years in this thing. I know I'm not that active on Facebook like I used to be because of the simple fact that when you're going through personal stuff, when you're handling business, you ain't got time to just be on that post about different things. So I get on these videos every now and then and just kind of wrap it all up. You can't take none of this shit for granted, man. Life ain't no joke. <laughs> I used to say that way back in the day because, you know, but we ain't never experienced um, this type of lifestyle that we live in right now. And for what I'm hearing, everything's finna shut down again. Shout out to all the parents out there that had to become teachers. <laughs> Shout out to all the, the parents out there that had to become teachers, man. I know y'all weren't prepared for that. I, if I'd have had children, look, some of this math, I used to help all my stepchildren. I had about 19 of them. Every woman I had had kids, so I had to step in when their father didn't. But I'm looking at some of this math that's got these kids got going on right now. I will flunk. <laughs> you feel me? I done lost all math skills. I'm just being honest with you. But I got the calculator though. <laughs> you feel me? And I know how to goddamn, you know what I'm saying, come up in the game. You know what I'm talking about? I know math, I know money. But some of these 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 fractions and all this stuff, I, I lost all that. I lost all that. So thank God for smartphones and calculators. <laughs> for real. What y'all eating on, man? What y'all got going on, man? Who cooking? Who cooking? We got we got things catered over this way. We my mom, she ain't want to do no cooking. You know what I'm saying? And I don't blame her. You know what I'm saying? So we went and supported a black owned business. Black owned business. We supported a black owned business and got the food catered. But for me, it's just all about everybody getting together, man, and staying positive. Because it, it, as a collective group, we need everybody to be on one accord, man. This world is, this world finna get, it, it's gonna get bad. But we all gotta stick together. That's what I always been preaching. Every time I go live, every time for the whole, since I've been on the spotlight, we all gotta stick together. If I know something, I want you to know it. This is facts. It's a time to reflect, man. Kiss your mama, kiss your, kiss your dad, kiss your grandma if y'all, if your grandma's still living. Hug your brother, hug your sister. All that bullshit, that, that shit don't mean nothing, man. Because people really dying out here. When they in the grave, you're going to wish you told them you love them. All the beef that's going on out here in these streets, stop it. People dying for real in real life. People dying for real in real life, man. So sometimes you got to ask yourself, is it really that serious? Is it really that serious? No, it ain't that serious. It's never that serious. But our egos and our, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna let nobody talk to me like that. You know what I'm saying? That it don't mean nothing. Nine times out of ten, you might be missing out on your blessings. You know what I'm saying? Where do I live, Miss Carter? I don't, I don't live nowhere. I'm, I'm, I'm visiting my hometown of Douglas, Georgia, though. But uh, I'm gonna get all that. I'm gonna get all that together. I don't live nowhere. But by, by the time I get after this year's over with, I got to contemplate my next move. And it's definitely going to be in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Maybe when, you know, all this stuff, all the smoke clears, then I can get back to my job and get back to what I do best. Music, acting, TV, etc. You feel me? But right now, man, everybody, it's time for everybody to sit down somewhere and reflect. It's all about enjoying each other, man. Because you... You don't never know if today might be your last day. You don't never know. So treat people with respect and love. I'm the type of person, and I always been this for those who truly know me. I'm all I'm in Connecticut, South Carolina, New York, goddamn Cali. I'm everywhere. But when when my mom lost her husband, I felt the need to be close. You feel me? I just felt the need to be close. So a lot of people ask me, why are you here? And that question kind of bothered me a little bit. What you mean why I'm here? This is my hometown. Why, why not be here? And I understand what you, what you mean by why you're here. Because there's nothing here in my hometown. Nope. There's something here in my hometown, my mom. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, I got family here. So sometimes you got to take yourself out yourself. Sometimes you got to take yourself out yourself. Stop being selfish, you know. Yeah, I could be making a whole bunch of money out there in the A-Town. You feel what I'm saying? I could be making a whole lot of money up in a town. I ain't making no money here. <laughs> Let's be keeping keeping one hundred. Ain't making out a dime here. But at the same time, I know who need me the most. 
you know, my mom, you know. So sometimes you got to be unselfish. And I think that a lot of people are so selfish and love of themselves to the point where they can't even see outside of what they got going on. And I watch how um, young people that got parents, young people that got fathers in the nurse home, and got people in the hospital, they don't even go see their people, man, because they're so caught up in what they got going on that they don't even appreciate how you got there. You got there from your mom and your pops or your grandma. So is they walking out of this life and going and ascending to the, uh, the next world, appreciate them while they're here. Appreciate them. Appreciate them, because I'm promising now, all this big shit you got going on in all these cities, Atlanta, wherever you living at, I promise you, when they gone, a part of you gonna be took away. But when you do the right thing, guess what? When they ascend to the heavens and up there with the heavenly father, you can be able to say, I did my part. I did my part. But if you ain't did your part when they die, trust me, you're going to be definitely feeling bad. You can't even look yourself in the mirror. Don't live life with regrets. Do not live life with regrets because I'm telling you now, that shit will haunt you for the rest of your life. Woulda, shoulda, coulda. No, you got the time to do it now. Tell your people you love them, man. Tell them people you love them, man. Don't wait to the funeral to be crying and boo-hooing and shit when you could do it right now. You got the time. If you still got your peoples with you, let them know you love them, man. Man, we done went through the worst year ever in, in, in life existence. I've never, this is, like I say, this is like a nightmare for me. Miss King, Noah Darius, I see you already know I'm talking that talk. Yo, Miss Carter, bless you too, queen. All I'm saying is this, man, we got to stay, stop being so selfish with each other and start lending out our abilities to one another. Like if I know something, and Noah Darius can tell you, and a lot of people that deal with me, you know what I'm saying, as far as my NB, my promotion, as far as what I do as a person. Some people get on that thing, my DMs, and want to just talk. I'm sorry if I'm not always available to talk to you, but I promise you, I'm going to do better. Because when you're dealing with stuff with an eternal, you got to be able to let me grieve. And then I'll get back to, you know what I'm saying, being a helper to y'all. Fred up, Fred up. The strong, the strong, like me being a leader, me being somebody that a lot of people look up to. Okay, so if you look up to me, then who gonna look, who, who am I going to have to talk to? Hmm? Who am I going to have to talk to? So sometimes when I don't got nobody to talk to, when nobody's around, I have to talk to my damn self. I get a chick. No, stop, stop. That ain't crazy, but I have to do self-reflection. And a lot of people don't do self-reflection. They just be feeling like, okay, yeah, I know my flaws, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to, if people don't, you know what I'm saying? If people, they got to deal with it. They're going to have to just deal with it because I ain't trying to change for nobody. That's what a lot of people feel, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, man, you got to take yourself out yourself and get into their shoes. When you get into their shoes, then you can realize there's a bigger people, a purpose out here. And you ain't the only one going through stuff. There's a lot of people going through. There's a lot of people going through, man. A lot of people won't talk about it because everybody want to post things like they're doing big stuff. Everybody want to post things on the social media to make them feel like, you know what I'm saying, everything is all good. No, everything ain't all good. Stop lying to yourself. We all have demons. We all have stuff that's in the closet. Me, personally, I'm so verbal about how I handle my business. I don't mind speaking to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because if I can speak to y'all and talk to y'all, maybe that could be some self-help for you. And I ain't talking about answer yourself now. I'm saying sometimes you need to talk to yourself. And, 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 and you know what I'm saying? More or less reassuring yourself that what you're doing is the right thing. You know what I'm saying? Because if you ain't got nobody around to talk to you, or at least understand where you're coming from, sometimes you got to reflect within yourself and talk to yourself and be like, yeah, I think I made the right decision on that. Oh. No, I shouldn't have said that. That was wrong. And then be a man or a woman to be able to have the ability to apologize. This is about the human race right now. This ain't about you. Yes, we all going to get it. We all know that we need paper to survive out here. But at the same time, man, whatever you going through, somebody else going through worse. And that's what we're talking about right now. And that's why we need to be thankful. Every time God wake me up in the morning, and I try not to, you know, with this social distancing, 
but I'm deaf on the phone and on the internet and on the computer. But if I feel like I, I came across a little aggressive or a little wrong, I promise you I got the next day to wake up. Thank you, Jesus, for waking me up this morning. Thank you. And I got the opportunity to do it right. You feel me? Even though I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even on that time, but I'm just saying, speaking in general, we all got time to make things right. You know what I'm saying? For real. Yeah. When you talk to the Lord, you actually talk to yourself and the Lord. Because you 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 you're obtaining the information that you you know what I'm saying, you you talking to the heaven above. You're attaining it. You know what I'm saying? And when you get through talking to him, and if you do it with conviction, if you do it from the bottom of your heart, man, you're gonna feel a whole lot better. You're gonna feel a whole lot better, man. Don't hold that animosity, don't hold that stress in. Don't one thing I always one of my OGs taught me, man. Don't stress on something that you can't control. I'm going to repeat that. Don't stress over things you can't control. This pandemic, this corona, we can't control this. You feel me? We don't know how it's coming. We don't know. We got the mask on, but we don't know if it's going in your ears. You're always looking. We don't know if it's going in your eyes. This is something that's untapped territory for all of us as human beings, not black, white, Mexican, or whatever. This is something that's affected all races. So what we got to do is... You know, be cautious. You know what I'm saying? That's the definite the word, be cautious. And I feel like right now, life as we know it will never be the same. So we got out as humans, and I know as black people, we are very much adaptable. We know how to adapt to every situation. You know why I say that? Because we came from slavery. Now we got black millionaires. You know what I'm saying? We got black business owners. We got go-getters. We, we came from the mud. And we know how to make it happen. But a lot of these races, a lot of these races out there in the world, they don't know how to take this. They don't know how to handle this type of pandemic. But let me tell you, we've been dealing with a pandemic for centuries, again. So I want all my people to stay strong, man, and be thankful for, for those who caught it and beat it. This corona, I'm, I'm saying. For those who caught it and beat it, be thankful. For those that didn't catch it, continue to keep your immune system strong. Because even though you're doing some great things in life, all the money in the world don't mean nothing when you did. I'm gonna repeat that. All the money in the world, all the businesses, all the cars, all the houses don't mean nothing when you did. Health is well. So make sure y'all we take care of our health. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot I get a lot of people saying, whoa, you 41? <laughs> yeah, I'm 41. You know? 41. I drink a hell of water. A lot of people think I drink alcohol all day. No. <laughs> Just because of, of the brand. And sometimes, I'm going to tell y'all a little secret, y'all. Because this time, I'm just giving y'all a little secret. It's Thanksgiving. Sometimes, man, I have water in my cup, but I be acting like, I'm an actor. Okay, I got to continue to have my brand going. It don't be what y'all think it is. It be water. Sorry, I am an actor. And I got to continue to keep the brand strong. Drake's on me. You feel me? But yeah, man. I just want to appreciate everybody that always supported me since day one, man. It's been a strong journey. A strong journey. And a lot of people didn't believe in me. Gave up on me. But every time they give up on me, I give up something. They be like, he did that? <laughs> it's always amazing, man. The, 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 the uh... The look, your naysayers, right? It's so amazing for your naysayers to be amazed at your potential when they know you great. It's amazing. Why would you doubt me when you know I'm great? It's a celebration of life right now. And I want all my queens, all my females, supporters, all the fans, all the friends on Facebook to know that it's still, and all the single women out there, just know it's still some good men out there in the world. Don't give up. Don't give up. Because if I'd have gave up, if I'd have listened to what somebody else said about me, I wouldn't be where I was. I wouldn't have the accomplishments that I've accomplished. Do not listen to nobody. Believe in yourself. Bet on yourself. If I'm giving you the game, don't hold the game back. Give it to somebody else. Give it to somebody else, man. Because if you got all the secrets, and you enjoying life up here and everybody dying up, but it's lonely at the top. It's lonely at the top. It's your boy MB, man. Happy Thanksgiving. I love y'all.